Okay, this is my hover pallet. It uh, is similar to my hover drone, uh, except this is a practical uh, demonstration of practical use uh, for maglev wheels that you can see here. They spin on these high-speed outrunner motors with the uh, the new DJI uh, uh, E800 uh, uh, drives and motor system. Um, also using uh, Fergeli linear actuators to push the uh, 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 the magnet wheels down toward the aluminum surface. Um, you can't really start the maglev wheels um, really, really close to the metal, so they have to be started at an angle and then forced down to create the lift, or else it'll just bog down the motors. Um, there are four of these, and we have a 5,500 milliamp hour uh, LiPo battery uh, that runs these. Um, there are four wheels, and there's a control panel. Um, these uh, right here, these things here, the, the maglev zones, these uh, light up when each of the limit switches is down in the zone, you'll know because they're, once they're engaged, this, li this limit switch engages and shows you that each maglev zone is, uh, is engaged with the aluminum. Uh, there's a ready light, knee stop, and a start and stop process. The point of this is if you have a place where a uh, forklift is, um, isn't really easily accessible, um, you could use these small maglev pallets to uh, allow someone just to move something by hand. We would normally use a pallet jack or you'd normally use a forklift. Um, these things will lift things up and you can move them by hand and then, and then simply, uh, you know, just simply uh, stop them. So, like, as an example, I've got some power supplies here in a box. Okay, so what we'll do is we will set these power supplies on top here. And we will start the maglev process. And when all the zones come up... This thing is totally frictionless now, so any weight that's on this can simply be moved by hand. So if the operator wants, the operator can move the device over to here and hit stop. And the pallet disengages. So what I've done is I successfully moved the load from here to here uh, on, a, on a, uh, uh, a flooring. The flooring does have to be a aluminum or um, non-ferrous metal, copper, brass, aluminum. But in small areas, if you needed to move weight around in a, in a compact area, um, if you had a metalized floor, um, you can use these little power pallets to actually move uh, things around by hand where you'd normally need a forklift. So if I start the process again... I can move the pallet by hand, I can move it with my finger. It just, it just spins around. This thing can be moved right by anything, and then you just press the stop button. It'll disengage and shut down all the rotors. And that's how it works in, in practicality. Um, as far as the mechanisms goes, um, I just have a basic stamp uh, two module in here controlling. Um, the, uh, uh, the the Fergeli actuators, and it also controls the speed and the uh, operation of the uh, of the maglev wheels on the uh, DJI E800 uh, controllers, and uh, just this is the operator interface. So if you if you watch what happens, if when we press the start button here, the wheels will engage, and then it becomes circular. And then when you stop, the wheel disengage and the unit shuts down. And then it'll go back to the ready state. Uh, this is my demonstration of a probably a, a, a quarter to a fifth scale uh, maglev pallet that could possibly be used for material handling applications. Thank you.